the vertices of a triangle are 0 comma 0 4 comma 0 and 3 comma 9 the area of the circle that passes through these three points so we have a triangle we want area of the circle that passes through these three we want radius of the circle or we want circumradius lovely this looks like an impossibly tough question it is not 0 comma 0 4 comma 0 3 comma 9 if you can visualize these points this becomes much simpler to start with this is not a right angle triangle this is not an equilateral triangle this is not even an isosceles triangle and all those appear to be clear how do we find circumradius we know only one formula we know that area is a b c by 4 r we have to plug that in somewhere and so if you find area we may be getting somewhere this distance the altitude with this origin this is 9 area is half into 4 into 9 is 2 into 9 18 square units if we can plug this into abc by 4 r we get r but we know this is 4 we know this is 3 this is 1 we don't know these two but hey we know these two because all we've got to do is plug in Pythagoras theorem square root of 9 square plus 3 square square root of 9 square plus 1 square this is a complicated question but not an impossible question this is root 90 81 plus 9 this is root 82 this is 4 bam we have our answer area is 18 which is root 90 into root 82 into 4 a b c by 4 r or come radius is root 90 just take out a 9 3 times root 10 into root 82 by 18 root 10 root 82 take a 2 from here take a 2 from here 3 into 2 root of 5 into 41 by 18 3 into 2 6 6 by 18 is 1 by 3 so circumradius square root of 205 by 3 it's a vague number but we don't want circumradius we want area area is pi r square so r square is 205 by 9 205 pi by 9 it looks like an impossibly tough question the random scalene triangle for which we have to find circumradius we've not even been given the metrics have been given the coordinates but the idea of being given coordinates if the coordinates have one line parallel to x-axis or y-axis life is simple because then finding area becomes a walk finding the measures of the other sides becomes a fog you don't need to plug in distance formula you just need to plug in just Pythagoras theorem when you need to have a certain comfort with coordinate geometry to be to visualize the shape so when you're preparing for Kojo have complete geometry foundation in place and get a sense of how the plane works don't go to town memorizing formulae that's just a nightmare